This is a quick demo uh, that SpringML made to showcase Google Cloud IoT Core, which is a managed service API that ingests data from, you know, Internet of Things, so basically devices that can be completely globally dispersed, thousand millions of them, and kind of bring them all and ingest them back into the, the GCP pipeline. So we built this around the oil refinery industry, and to get this demo started, let me uh, in create some data that we're going to ingest directly into IoT Core. These are these represents here it goes. These represents you know hundreds of data points per second, and uh, each of these data points represent the health of various pieces of machinery uh, on oil rigs. So now that the data is flowing, I'm going to open the the demo and hit refresh. And on the left, we have a map, and we have three oil rigs. This is a small demo. We didn't want to uh, put too many oil rigs. And I can click on any of them. And here we see that uh, each oil rig has three machines that's being tracked uh, through IoT Core. And I can click on any of the, the machines on the rig. And we see that this is the main indicator that we are in a safe zone. Everything is working well. And this is the predictive part of the model. Uh, we are predicting that we are in the green and there's plenty of life cycles left uh, for this oil rig. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see individual dials that represent different uh, uh, parts of this machine, viscosity, temperature, tension, etc. And everything looks good. Everything is in the green. And we also track historical data throughout. And let's go back to the map. So in this demo, we are degrading the machines fairly rapidly so that we can see failure, uh, you know, in a reasonable amount of time. And now we're seeing that the, the three machines are showing some form of uh, alerts. It's yellow. That means that things are not broken yet. Let me click on one so we can see the oil rigs. And here I'm going to click. I'm going to take any points randomly and we now see that we are in a risk zone so the machine the 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 ml engine is predicting that we're having trouble right now and this is the point when you'd be sending sms's uh firing off alarms uh you know uh, uh, alerting people that this this machine is about to break and if you scroll in terms of the dials you see that you know most of them are still in the green, actually two are in the green and two are in the red. And that's how the, the ML engine is, you know, suspecting that we're having failure. And here I just saw the needle go into the red and now the machine has failed. And we can, if we go back to the map, we see all the machines have, have indeed failed. In terms of architecture, the refinery data to the cloud IoT core is what I was simulating through a Google, um, the virtual machine in Google Cloud. Then the data is fed to PubSub, which is a, a massive queuing mechanism, messaging mechanism, and then uh, passed uh, to Dataflow. Dataflow takes care of the internal streaming of the data. It would stream to the Cloud ML engine to predict uh, how far are we from failure and to BigQuery for storing all that data. BigQuery is the perfect type of warehouse, data warehouse to store uh, IoT core data because we're talking about millions and even billions of data points uh, constantly coming in and you want a, an industrial strength type warehousing a tool to store all that data. And finally, the visualization layer, which can query directly BigQuery and get, you know, snapshots of how well the machine is doing at a specific point in time. 